my written instructions in my blog and on my website. Um, still getting lots of calls and issues with people who are having problems with the Adobe Flash updates. Very common. It's a little misleading. And uh, so hopefully with this screen recording that you can follow along with, uh, you'll be able to do your own Flash updates and not have uh, to call me out for a service call. Not that I uh, mind, but it's easier this way. You have to go directly to the adobe.com site and if you saw I clicked on the flash player uh, icon down at the bottom right of your screen. Now here's the, uh, the source of the confusion. On the Adobe site you'll see this yellow box says install now. So most people believe that if they click that yellow button that they've installed the software. Well in fact you're just downloading a link to the software and you have to go through a fairly lengthy procedure. Not lengthy. Uh, but uh, 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 several steps anyway to be able to successfully actually install the software. So you see that software was downloaded. Uh, it's a disk mounted image and it comes up in your downloads folder. So you have to open your downloads folder. I usually find it here in the top right of my browser screen. And then you have to double click on the installer disk mounted image to be able to launch the installer. Now this is one of the reasons why Mac computers don't get viruses uh, in the same way that PCs do uh, because you do have to go through a fairly deliberate process to actually install software and it would never happen out of an email inadvertently the way that it might on PCs. Anyway, once you've got the installer launched, you double click on the actual installer. Uh, you have to agree to the terms and conditions here. Uh, you then have to authenticate using your computer's login password. And you have to follow all these steps to, to actually complete the installation. And that's why uh, I've been getting so many calls. And uh, so then the download uh, resumes, uh, downloads the rest of the features of the Adobe Flash software, which you need to be able to uh, watch YouTube videos and... Uh, Book BC Ferries and lots of other online browser based applications. Uh, you also have to quit Safari. I'm going to get a prompt in about five seconds uh, urging me to quit Safari, which I will do, and then retry that. Picks up where it left off. And uh, within a few seconds, that installation should be complete. So uh, Flash tends to update, I don't know, every six to eight weeks, it seems, and uh, I tend to get a, a rush of calls at that time, and hopefully this uh, screen recording uh, you can follow along with and complete your own Flash player installation um, in about six to eight weeks. Installation complete.